Hello everyone, my name is Erica. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting and watching Ghost Rider. I haven't seen this movie since it came out in like, what, 06 or 07? So I'm really excited because honestly, I really loved this movie when it came out. I don't know why I haven't seen it since. If I'm not mistaken, isn't he like a part of Marvel? He gives me like vigilante vibes. But anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I'm not wrong. He is a part of Marvel. He gives me straight vigilante vibes. And if I'm honest, I love a vigilante. Like if I could choose a position from being like a hero, a villain, or a vigilante, I would choose vigilante for sure. This intro is so cool. I love the flames, everything. So on everything you do in life, every choice you make has a consequence. You're not lying. You do things without thinking. You ain't making the choice. The choice is making you. Mm -hmm. You understand that? Yeah, sure. What? <coughs> I said yes, sir. <laughs> <coughs> And that's that do as I say, not as I do kind of thing parents love to do. Like, he got to be careful and make sure he's making the right decisions. But yet, developing lung cancer just to smoke some cigs, it doesn't work that way. We end up doing what you're doing because actions speak louder than words. So we're going to follow your actions. We're not going to always do what you say. We're going to do what you do. And then later on, learn from that lesson, hopefully. But if not then we just gonna be in that cycle like you're in and you can't get upset because you're in it too i'm gonna try to remember this once i become a parent but you know i guess it just comes with the territory you know he says you're not good enough for me oh well, that you just it sucks when parents get in between your relationship anyway i forgot to mention my snack of choice is the um rich cheese sandwiches they're so good I have to put it in a bowl like this because if not, and I eat directly out of the bag, I'm going to sit here and just eat the whole thing. So to prevent binge eating, <laughs> self-control. I knew my guy had cancer. Definitely the way he was coughing like that. That's probably why he's being like extra like on his son about being safe and being aware because he's not going to be here for much longer. Like I don't remember a lot of this. Like, none of it, really. So it's like I'm watching it for the first time again. The devil here to collect. Be upset. Being petty. Per usual. <laughs> Far out. Perhaps you'd ride for me one day. He's Great looking for a ghost rider. Name your price. Of course he's going to say yes. Oh. I'll take you. your soul. And the devil be coming at the most greatest times. Like, my guy plans to leave tomorrow with his girl. Someone he probably truly loves. And that's why he, the devil's here today. To catch him before he acts. <clears throat> and just like that. I'll do just fine. I can't explain it, but I feel healthy as a horse. I bet you do. Don't smoke no more cigs with your new life. Because your son done sold his soul for you, so... Dad, I want something better than that. Respect. And you have that right to find out what that is. Even if it is running off with his girl. W, father. <laughs> but to awaken your full potential, you had to go through a grave loss. That's usually how most people connect with their superpower. Unless they're born knowing that they have it. Usually, most of them are surprised by it because of something traumatic they go through like losing a parent or a close friend or your whole family it'd be crazy you know these storylines be crazy sometimes but then they'll be having their you know their breakdown and then boom whether it's frustration or crying somehow it's gonna initiate their power so welcome to your full potential my guy i've never been to one of these shows oh my god did you see the way he bounced on his neck? Ooh. And this is why I wouldn't want to go see one of these shows. Even though they look so fun and cool, it's just like 
I do not want to see anybody mess themselves up. My sensitive soul can't take it. You got an angel looking after you. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, Back. something like you that. In? You know, superpower, a little bit of immortality. Crazy how the devil didn't catch the last Ghost Rider. He was one hell of a writer then. Do you believe people get second chances? If somebody makes a mistake, a big mistake, do you think that person should have to pay for it every day for the rest of their lives? I mean, no. I don't think they should be punished every single day. But it just depends on how you try to atone for your actions. JB, what happened way back when to your daddy was not your fault? Mm -hmm. You know that, right? I guess not, because he was going to pass anyway since he was ill. But he didn't sold his soul to the devil, so... Yeah, you're going to be paying for it every day until you can um somehow cheat death and the devil. <laughs> Who is this man? I can smell your fear. Because you're scary. You killed the man because he didn't fear you. You killed her because she feared you. Make up your mind, sir. Why are you here? Yeah. Why are you here? I've come for the contract of San Vaganza. Mm. The Ghost Rider? Your favorite creation? If you had trusted me, if you had given me what was rightfully mine, it's all mine. I figured he was your daddy. You got some daddy issues because your daddy favors his ghostwriters more than you. Grow up. Roxanne? Yes, Johnny? Nothing. Are you trying to kill yourself? I want to talk to you. And now you holding up all of traffic when you just could have pulled over in this lane off to the side. Look, you were 17 and you witnessed a tragedy and you ran. And I understand now like I understood then. And I have no hard feelings, none, you know? And that's why they call it the past, because it's past. It's done. It's over with. But that's not over with. It's the body glow for me. Oh my gosh. I need a new A-ball. I used to do that back in high school as well. You're the best writer. You deserve a second chance. She's a son against that curse that bike is sick it ain't worth your soul though hello johnny every time his girl pops up here he come talking about now it's time to pay up like at first i gotta sell myself before i leave with my girl and now i gotta fucking go on a mission before loving my girl again fuck off devil but you did sign a contract. The transformation is happening. There he is. And his girl doesn't know any of this is going on. She just knows she just got stood up again. I didn't think the bike can get any cooler. You think I'm pretty, right? Oh. <gasps> I mean, desperate is not attractive. How do you move a cemetery though? Like, look, how do you move all those people without damaging or leaving things behind? If you need my help, expect the last night. Last time I let a stranger help me, it didn't pan out so good. They've been coming since you made that deal. Hear them out. Last night. Ah! Listen. Punk, and I could see all the wrong he'd ever done, and I turned it all against him. Pin and stare. Sear the souls of the wicked. I call it justice. Why'd you make the deal? I was a kid. What'd you get in return? Nothing. Superpowers? Heartache. That too. I guess it wouldn't be superpowers. There's nothing super about it. Burn away all flesh and blood and skin and become... A skeleton to be a bounty hunter for the devil. Damn. Let me apologize. Put the camera down, sir. You're just the same. Better pay more fans. But you're still just a carny. Damn. My dad was right. You're just a face. Damn. It would seem that way, girl. It would seem that way. Okay. Look at you. Hi. Hi. Hey, oh. I hope you don't mind. Your lift was open. Hey, girl. I didn't expect you here. I came to apologize. Oh. I'm leaving town tonight, and uh, I didn't want what I said today to be the last words between us. It was cruel. 
and totally untrue. And I feel really terrible about it. Oh my gosh, she's so hot and so like down to earth. I was terrified that my dad was gonna come in any second. I mean, not for the last time. Don't you care about me at all, Johnny? <laughs> you know you can talk to me. You can tell me anything. I mean, go ahead, Johnny. Please. Here's your opportunity. Just get it off your chest. You wouldn't believe me anyway. True. She wouldn't. I'm just, uh, just a great big monster. But, Fire but I am learning to. Ghost I'm Rider. getting control of it. I'm trying to. Sure. Your firebending skills. Which is why it's probably a very good idea that you you run on home now, Roxy. Hmm. I didn't like the little hand thing he did, but he is serious, girl. I realized that you'd rather make up ridiculous stories and be honest with me. No. And I walk out of that door forever. Oh no. Show her the fire bending. <laughs> If you would have showed her, there was no way she would be able to doubt you because you do sound crazy. And with everything y'all been through, I don't blame her. You know, that's a woman that knows her worth. But you're both good cops. Mm -hmm. And uh, you provide a very, very important civil service. In fact, when I finish my stone career, I intend to apply my skills to being a motorcycle policeman. Uh, so I'd love to help you. But I didn't kill anybody. I mean, he's kind of already a motorcycle cop. But you're making a mistake. Come on, move your ass. I mean, at least he collecting evil souls, mean souls. Oh God! Oh, please, please, don't want to put me in there. He's slowly but surely making some change into the world when it comes to the evil things that happens on a day to day. You cannot catch the wind. That guy's a badass, okay? Exactly, girl, he wasn't lying. I wonder if it's painful for him to change back to human form every time, like it is for like werewolves and stuff, or does it get easier every time? Look, I don't pretend to know what the hell that thing is, but I do know the blaze is wrapped up in it, and the only way you can save him now is if you help us find him. We got six hours. After that, we go public with everything we got. Which ain't shit. Because if it was something, you wouldn't be needing her help. You know, you seem like a nice lady and you're pretty and all. But we were riding the gravy train on biscuit wheels around here and then you showed up and everything went to hell. So why don't you just go back to wherever it is you came from? It's not her fault. Not now. Like, she's his saving grace. His, his archangel. His soulmate. That's gonna bring him back from hell lately he's been reading these really weird books and they're messing with his mind you know and, and he's writing stuff down and he's staying up late and he, he, he does it over here you can go through this stuff and i don't know if it means anything well after accidentally selling your soul to the devil you would want to do your homework so he's a smart man well maybe it wasn't an accident maybe it was just unintentional his dad always told him you know you got to be careful about the decisions you make his daddy did warn him but he didn't listen I have all of my father's strengths and none of his weaknesses. Yet it still ain't enough. I need the contract. I know it's here. Now give it to me. What a spoiled brat. Because <laughs> that's what he acting like right now. A little five-year-old. Talk your shit. You're gonna fall just like your father. No truer words ever spoken. The girl. You heard her, he'll be there like lightning before the storm. I'm counting on it. Jesus. But Jesus ain't got nothing to do with this, girl. He thinks you're better than me. I don't know who's more pathetic. You are him. Like, dude, how old are you? Get the contract from the caretaker. Bring it to me and San Vincenzo. And maybe I'll spare your girl's life. And Johnny, help me wait. Contract of San Vincenzo. He may have my soul, but he doesn't have my spirit. I bet he don't have your heart. Because <laughs> he don't. You're a good man, Johnny. You're a good man. The power to change the world. Period. If the greed, if the right reason, nope. if that was God on your side, then that makes you dangerous. Makes you unpredictable. That's the best thing you can do right now. Yes. <laughs> He's the old writer. Can you 
Wow. I was wondering who he was the whole time. And how you gonna ride a horse let's 500 ride. miles, but let's ride. Okay. My name is Legion. I'm the only one who can walk in both worlds. I'm Ghost Rider. Look into my eyes. Your souls are stained by the blood of the innocent. So him basically inhaling all of those evil spirits from the last Ghost Rider's contract, making this whole situation right here possible? More people willing to give their souls what they desire. Let someone else carry this curse. You're free now. I'm going to hold this curse, and I'm going to use it against you. The spirit of vengeance. Fighting fire with fire. No, oh, he got his love again. Hands down, Ghost Rider is one of my favorite Marvel characters. And I do stand on what I said earlier about second chances. You don't deserve to be punished for whatever mistake you made. It's all about how you atone for your actions and trying to make things better. And even though he did get himself into a little deeper hole, he turned the situation around. And the devil gave him this power to work for him and to do his bidding. But he turned around and was like, no, I'm going to do God's work with this power. And I'm going to use this power that you gave me against you. And that's inspirational, honestly. He's going to do good work with this power. And he was already doing it by ending evil, mean souls that just had it out for innocent people. I can't wait to watch the second one. I'm so glad that he also got the love of his life back because the devil tried to take all of that away from him just to make him heartless. But I'm so glad I watched this again. My brother brought this movie up the other day and I was just like, I have to watch that movie. I haven't seen it in forever and I'm glad I did because it was definitely worth the watch again. And it's even better than I remember, honestly. Talk to your girl down in the comments. Let me know what you thought about the movie. Is Ghost Rider one of your favorite vigilantes? Because he's one of mine. In a way, he is kind of a hero, but that's kind of the vigilante's energy. You know, they waver back and forth between villain and hero. And that's what I love the most because it's like they make it their choice whether they want to help or not or put their support in where when you're a hero, it's like you are obligated to show up and be the hero. Like, and if you don't show up, people are going to be like, well, where the hell were you? You are a hero. And same like the villain, you know, they're going to be expecting you to be doing some bad things and, you know, you're going to be making yourself known constantly because of you being a villain. Being a vigilante is like perfect because it's like you decide whether you want to help or not or whether you want to create some chaos. But anyway, this is the end of the video. Girl, I love to ramble. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.